Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Come on in my family. Welcome to a quick teaching with your woman of God, Angela Hunt. Today I am here to share 10 of the most powerful spiritual warfare weapons that you should have loaded and stocked in your spiritual arsenal glory be to god i must also admit here that there are over 100 weapons of spiritual warfare mentioned in the bible but for this video i'll be highlighting 10 the top 10 are the ones that i use most frequently to learn more about the spiritual warfare weapons you can go ahead and purchase dr dk olokoya's book it is titled 101 weapons of spiritual warfare I read this book many years ago. It is a very powerful and informative book and it will surely help you with your spiritual journey and in your spiritual battles. Hallelujah. Without further delay, let us now get right into the top 10 most powerful weapons of spiritual warfare. And this is in no particular order or ranking. Number one on the list, the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the most powerful name and an unbeatable weapon we have as believers. The name of Jesus is a spiritual warfare weapon of deliverance and divine protection. Philippians 2 verse 9 to 11. Wherefore God also had highly esteemed him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father hallelujah so the name of Jesus is the name above all name it is the name at which every knee has to bow and every tongue has to confess it is the name at which demons and devils tremble and flee the name of Jesus is also a strong tower Proverbs 18 verse 10 tells us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are are saved so the powerful name of Jesus is a net of safety and a hiding place for the righteous the name of Jesus is an undefeated weapon and this is why many spiritual warfare prayers they are sealed or they are ended in the name of Jesus because the real power is in the name of Jesus there is great power in the name of Jesus and this name will defeat them all so we can pray and command demons to leave in the name of Jesus we can break curses hexes and spells in the name of Jesus we can destroy evil altars and covenants in the name of Jesus number two on the list the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is hands down the most undefeated weapon of spiritual warfare and it is a mighty force to reckon with no powers of darkness and hell is more powerful than the power in the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is an overcomer and the voice of victory absolutely no power can contest the blood of jesus when the blood of jesus is applied all evil powers have to retreat and surrender when the blood of Jesus is activated destruction is unleashed upon your stubborn enemies revelations 12 verse 11 says and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their lives unto God so we can overcome every evil power and every power of darkness by the blood of the the lamb by the blood of 
Jesus. Colossians 2 verse 15, and having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. So all principalities and powers are defeated and put to shame by the finished work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. The blood of Jesus defeated them all. So you can pray and apply the blood of Jesus. You can say, blood of Jesus, arise and begin to fight for me. Blood of Jesus, arise and begin to destroy my enemies. Blood of Jesus, arise and wipe out all my stubborn pursuers. Blood of Jesus, protect and guard me in Jesus name. Number three on the list, the word of God. Many persons overlook and underestimate the weapon of spiritual warfare of the word of God. It is a powerful weapon of mass destruction. The word of God is the sword of the spirit and the word of God is a double-sided sword. Ephesians 6 verse 17 says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God Hebrews 4 verse 12 says for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart come on somebody are you using the word of God the word of God is so powerful and potent because it stands on the promises of God. The word of God is non-negotiable. When you open your mouth and you speak the word of God and said it is written, demons and devils have to obey. They have to scatter and flee. The word of God, come on somebody, is so unbeatable that when we swing and swirl our double-edged sword, my God, it pierces, it cuts, it penetrates, it it cuts asunder every enemy of our soul and destiny. Jeremiah 23 verse 29 says, Is not my word as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces? Yes, the word of God is also like fire. It burns, it destroys, it consumes. It is also like a hammer that breaks and scatters things that are tough, things that are stubborn, things that are strong as a rock in the name of Jesus. So for example, you can pray and say, devil, it is written according to 1 John 4 verse 4 that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in you. Therefore, you are defeated and you have to leave now in Jesus. Jesus name. Number four on the list, the fire of God. This is another powerful weapon of spiritual warfare. You must have this one in your spiritual arsenal. The fire of God is destructive. It is a destroyer. It is a consuming fire. When you deploy the fire of God, the wrath of God is kindled against your enemies. The fire of God is ideal for those stubborn enemies, marine powers, witchcraft powers, and ancestral powers. Deuteronomy 4 verse 24 says, For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Deuteronomy 9 verse 3 says, Understand therefore this day that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee as a consuming fire. He shall destroy them, and he shall bring them down before thy face. So shall thou drive them out and destroy them quickly as the Lord had said unto thee. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the fire of God is a consuming fire. The word consume means to totally destroy something by burning. After such, there will be nothing remaining. There will be a total burn out or desolation in the camp of the enemy. When we use the fire of God, it rapidly spreads and destroys everything that is in its way. There is a total burn out. There is chaos, confusion, and desolation in the camp of the enemies. 
all your enemies are destroyed by the consuming fire of God Psalms 11 verse 6 says upon the wicked he shall rain snares fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest this shall be the portion of their cup so God can rain down his consuming fire in the camp of your enemies upon the wicked upon your stubborn pursuers come on somebody so you can cry out to God and say God rain down fire upon my enemies pour out liquid fire from heaven consume my enemies with your consuming fire burn them by fire burn them to ashes answer them by fire in Jesus name number five on the list the sword of the Lord the sword of the Lord is a weapon of mass destruction and it can kill many enemies at once the sword of the Lord is an ideal weapon to use against the stubborn powers of your father's and mother's house and any other stubborn power that refuses to let you go no power can evade or escape the sword of the Lord the sword of the Lord is a destroyer and it will slay your enemies and cut them to pieces the sword of the Lord is a weapon of deliverance and victory when God takes out his sword it is over for your enemies your freedom is assured Matthew 10 verse 34 says do not think that I came to bring peace on the earth I did not come to bring peace but a sword Deuteronomy 32 verse 41 says when I sharpen my flashing sword and begin to carry out justice I will take revenge on my enemies and repay those who reject me so the sword of the Lord is used to execute God's vengeance and revenge on your enemies are you using the sword of the Lord you can ask God to take out his wet glittering sword of judgment and deliverance you can ask God to drive his sword through their hearts through their sides you can ask God to let his sword drink their blood let his sword cut off their heads let his sword cut your enemies to pieces you can cry out to God for him to draw out his sword the sword of the Lord to avenge you of your adversaries Number six on the list, the arrow of God. The arrow of God is no ordinary arrow and it shouldn't be confused with the arrow of the enemy. The arrow of God is an instrument of judgment and it is far more powerful, faster, superior and more effective than any arrow of the enemy. Zechariah 9 verse 14 and the Lord shall be seen over them and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning and the Lord God shall blow the trumpet and shall go with the whirlwinds of the south. So the arrow of God will shoot out and fly as fast as lightning. The arrow of God when fired shoots out accurately and it never misses its target the enemy will not see when the arrow of God is coming but they will surely feel the hit Psalm 64 verse 7 says but God shall shoot at them with an arrow suddenly shall they be wounded my god my god you see god is a sniper he's a sharp shooter when god shoot out his arrows suddenly your enemies will receive a massive hit and be wounded the arrow of god starts to work immediately on your enemies this weapon is used when you are tired of your stubborn enemies and you want the god of vengeance and the god of the suddenlies to deal with them immediately so you can pray and ask God to shoot out his arrow of deliverance which will smite and consume your enemies you can ask God to take out his arrow you can ask the arrow of God to locate and destroy your enemies number seven on the list the 
finger of God. This finger is very powerful. From time to time, you'd hear me saying some of my prayers stretch forth your finger of command and judgment. The finger of God is a weapon of spiritual warfare that the enemy cannot withstand. The finger of God is a weapon of vengeance and executing judgment. Exodus 8 verse 19, then the magician said unto Pharaoh, this is the finger of God and Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. So you see when certain destruction, certain devastation, certain plagues start to come up on your enemies, they will know that the finger of God has been raised against them, that God is with you, that this is God's doing and God is fighting for you. Come on, somebody start to use the finger of God, start to ask God to stretch forth his finger of command and judgment judgment and suddenly they shall fall down and die in the name of Jesus. In Luke 11 verse 20, Jesus said, but if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. The finger of God demonstrates the unbeatable power of God. Demons and devils tremble at the presence of the finger of God. They know their judgment. They know their punishment is at hand when God stretches forth his finger of judgment. Hallelujah, somebody. So you can pray and say, finger of God, arise and execute divine judgment upon my enemies. Finger of God begin to scatter unto desolation every demon every devil that is working against me there is power in the finger of God number eight on the list the host of heaven the host of heaven is the heavenly army of God where God is the Lord of hosts for those of you who have been following my priors I love to call in the ministry of angels i like to call in for supernatural backup from the host of heaven psalms 59 verse 5 says thou therefore o lord god of hosts the god of israel awake to visit all the heathen be not merciful to any wicked transgressors selah Jeremiah 33 verse 22 tells us that there's an innumerable count of angels as the host of heaven cannot be numbered. So my family, the host of heaven is available in uncountable numbers, ready to assist us, the hearers of salvation in the earth, ready to deliver us, ready to help fight some battles on our behalf. But we have to call them into action and we have to partner with them to receive see victory over our enemies especially when we have large enemies and enemies that are of a higher level we need to call in for the host of heaven the bible tells us according to psalms 34 verse 7 that the angels of the lord encamp it round about them who fear god and they deliver it them so if you fear god the angels will come to deliver you in jesus name so when the battles are really tough and you need some supernatural help, don't be afraid to call in the host of heaven to arise and come and destroy your enemies. Don't be afraid to call in the host of heaven to locate and destroy those evil altars that are speaking evil against you. Number nine on the list confusion the spiritual warfare weapon of confusion is a covert and hidden weapon that the enemy will not even see coming this weapon is best used when there is an evil gang up or where there's a group of enemies that are working against you maybe like a coven of witches maybe like the marine kingdom and so forth and so on arrows of confusion will cause your enemies to lose focus of who or what their target is the weapon of confusion will cause your enemies to start 
fighting against themselves even unto death as you safely escape their captivity there are many instances in the bible when god used the spiritual warfare weapon of confusion to scatter to distract the enemies so they can be ambushed and totally annihilated in first samuel 7 verse 10 the lord released a great thunder upon the philistines that confused them and they were all killed before israel in genesis 11 verse 7 to 9 god confused and confounded the language of the people so that they could no longer communicate with themselves and as such they were scattered among the face of the earth god used confusion of their language god used thunder sometimes god used the feet of soldiers that they feel like an army is coming my god they become greatly afraid god can even use praise and worship to confuse and confound your enemies so don't underestimate the spiritual warfare weapon of confusion i often use this especially during the midnight hours to shoot out arrows of confusion in the camp of the enemy to scatter their evil meetings scatter their evil gatherings come on somebody number 10 on the list the vengeance of god from time to time when we are fighting some very tough spiritual battles we have to call upon the god of vengeance to arise to our help we need the god of vengeance to arise and execute divine judgment upon our enemies romans 12 verse 19 says dearly beloved avenge not yourselves but rather give place unto wrath for it is written vengeance is mine I will repay, saith the Lord. My people, vengeance belongeth to God and he will repay our enemies so we can call upon the vengeance of God. We can call upon God to release his vengeance upon our enemies. Isaiah 35 verse 4. So to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, evil God with a recompense, he will come and save you. So the vengeance of God will come and save you, it will deal mercilessly with your enemies. This weapon is ideal when you want to come out of satanic captivity and bondage. This weapon is ideal when you want your enemies to get a taste of their own medicine back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. This weapon is ideal when you want the enemies to vomit out all that they have swallowed for you. So you can pray for the vengeance of God to avenge you of your adversaries. You can pray for the vengeance of the Lord to arise and smite all your enemies unto death. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was number 10 on the list. And in this video, I am highlighting 10 of the most powerful weapons of spiritual warfare. As I've mentioned earlier, there are over 100 spiritual weapons of warfare that are mentioned in the Bible. If you need to learn more on these, go and grab that book from Dr. Olakoya called 101 Weapons of Spiritual Warfare. Glory be to God. I love to use thunder and lightning fire of the holy ghost is one of my favorite acts of god hammer of god i use the word wind from time to time i call in the four winds from time to time I'm, I like fire and brimstone after the order of Sodom and Gomorrah. Sometimes I release the angel of death, the earthquake, the earthquake, the sea quake, and I could go on and on. People of God, when I invested in this book many years ago, when I was fighting great witchcraft battles, it helped me greatly. I trust I that this video has been a blessing to you and that you are now enlightened on some of the most powerful weapons of spiritual warfare there are many and you need to keep some of these very closely in your spiritual arsenal ready to fire lock and shoot when the time comes in jesus name my lovely family i love you with the love of god my prayers my love are with you praise god remember to like the videos 
share them so others can be blessed drop a comment in the comment section and if you have not yet subscribed go ahead subscribe and hit the post notification bell until next time see you in the next video be blessed